Hey guys, Spartan here. Welcome back to Don't Starve. Uh, episode, I think this is episode 10, since I record in sessions of two. Uh, last episode, we beat two worlds, and we are on darkness. In case you don't know what that's a reference to, it's a reference to... What was it a reference to again? I forget. Something to do with Marky Joe. So yeah, we're just looking for parts and pieces and bits and bobs here. I need to be insane to go through an obelisk squall, so hopefully I can get through that safely. I mean, I'll need to like burn the beehives in order to get back or something like that. But yeah, I seem to be doing fine here if it weren't for the f factor of my low health. God damn it, everyone's making noise outside immediately when I start recording my second session, even though I've warned everyone that I'm recording here. So today is Wednesday, I think, or is it Thursday? It, it, actually, no, I think it's Thursday. I've kind of lost track of time. But, yeah. Thursday. So normally everyone would be in school. Like, my younger sister goes to school. Like, she's in high school right now. And my mother works as a teacher. But, uh, it's Christmas time, so... Uh, yep, school is off for the seasons. So, yep, everyone's at home. Well, not everyone is home. There's two people that aren't home right now. Uh, which, you know, I won't bother talking about that because it doesn't affect the commentary in any way. I should be holding this thing out. So what's my goal for this episode? Uh, probably to get more of those... things. Blue mushrooms. Hey, there's a pig here. What are you doing here? There aren't any pig houses around here, are there? I kind of forgot that pigs are only active during the day, so... Pigs don't exist in this mode. Plot twist. Do I have a shovel with me? Yeah, I do, so I can dig up blue mushrooms. Which should be the way to increase my health and decrease my sanity at the same time, which will be very useful. Green mushrooms will also help. Let's find more Maxwell's lights. Why did Maxwell build these lights? To keep away the darkness? To keep away Charlie. Thought he liked Charlie. You need to understand the lore of this game in order to get what I'm talking about, but uh, not a lot of people do read the lore of Don't Starve. I mean, I don't, but I know of it. Signal is very faint. Need more insanity. Think of one other game where need more insanity is a viable sentence. I wish there weren't all of these damn shadows. There's a whole bunch of food I could get there, but that might take some time. And, uh, I'm not really in the position to fight. I mean, I probably don't need more inventory room. In inventory. I don't have any inventory space. I need more blue mushrooms. It's a carrot. That won't help much. Why are the spiders not out? It's night time. It's always night time, though. I guess the spiders operate on the spider cycle. Which, the spider cycle is like always off or something, maybe. It would kind of be a bit annoying if all the spiders were constantly active. Where, I, I swear there would, would be like blue mushrooms in this area. This is annoying. I don't think there's anything around here. So, I'll have to get rid of these damn bees. My backpack is going to burn to smithers, but hopefully I can deal with it. Let's rotate the camera four specs around, which means... Hmm, how will I deal with this? It's actual night... No, the day just shifted. So where's my backpack? It's over there, in between the worst possible place imaginable. I swear you could light these things on fire. Okay, I'm going to try and light that f that flower on fire. Hopefully the fire will spread. That did not go as I planned. I need something to kill these bees. The only thing that I could potentially think would kill bees is, like, deer clops or something like that. Just die, you stupid thing. Jesus. So that did not go well. 
how are you supposed to get by that without the fire stuff? And I dropped the fire stuff like an idiot. I could... No, that's a bridge to another land over there. Damn it, I need to go back there. I'm just getting bees one at a time. God damn it, bees are faster than me. I don't like that. And they deal too much damage for bees. Why are the bees sleeping? They should go back to their hive. Or did it actually burn down? Hey, I burned one of them down. That's good. Progress. Now just 7,000 to go. Uh, as soon as I get the backpack, uh, I will be in a much better position. Okay, I need to lo lure these bees out. What would be the most opportune thing to burn? There's one specific flower over there that would be good. But then again, I can't deal with all of these bees! And as soon as I grab the backpack, it's going to equip it, so... That is a big problem. There we go, that should draw attention to some bees. But not all of them. Come on, bee, over here. Okay. At least the honey will sustain me. Yeah, I need to get more thing. No, do not grab the stingers. No, do not grab the fucking stingers. Get the fireflies. Torch. Need torch. That probably won't do anything. Yeah, that did nothing. Jackpot. There's one down. Any opportunity I can get to kill more bees is a good one. I, don't really, I need more grass in order to make more log suits in order to tank these things. At least the... At least killing bees is the chance of giving me more health with honey. And I've got plenty of trees around here. There we go, there's more honey. As soon as I get that fire stuff, I'll be rolling. And by rolling, I mean rolling in good stuff. Oh my god, I need to get rid of this beehive as well. Okay, one more hit and that thing's dead. How you can kill something that does not have life, I do not know. There we go. Got it. Let's run. Maybe it's time to regroup and collect my bearings. Nah, I just need to get more fireflies. Might need more silk in order to craft more bug nets. Oh, this is not going well, but it is going steadily. At least the tentacle spike is not gone yet. How much hunger does honey give? Like nine? At least it gives three health. Three health is all I care about. So I'm almost to where I need to be. Lighting that flower in the center there on fire might work. These bees are swarming though. Okay. You know I'm going for a risky strategy here. I'm going to aggro the bees and then I'm going to sneak past him. Light the flower. Come on, please light everything on fire. Oh god, there's many, many bees! Okay, yep. Oh no, the bees are going back to their houses. Not good. Jeez, there's a lot of bees. Jeez, the bees. And I need more health. Great. I have made zero progress. I need something that'll actually burn. 
I need something intense to burn. You know what, I think I just need to kite them and drop the log suit. What are these bees doing? The AI is screwed up. Okay, I'm going for a risky tactic here. Okay, grab. Don't die. Don't die. Phew. That was close. Right. Now I need to heal. If these spiders will drop spider glands, I'll be able to heal a bit. That's one gland. Two glands. Okay, that's 16 health. That's a bit. It may be enough. So. Let us take these valuable building supplies from here. Rocks, I don't need those. Fire staff is what I need. We need another log suit, so let's craft one of those quickly. Two rope. Log suit. 100% durability. Hang on. There we go. Now, time to burn a trail through these damn things. I can't see very far though. There we go. How do you like this, bees? This is why the game gives you a fire staff. <laughs> this is, I'm pretty sure this is the only reason why you get a fire staff here. And I'll just take some honey. Should not have aggroed those bees. Spiders, attack the bees. Okay. Hey, we've got more health. Perfect. This tentacle spike is going to break soon. Very soon. Now yeah, whatever. I'll just craft a spear, I guess. I have flint, don't I? No, I don't. Okay, I just need to grab some flint. If only these bees would attack something that benefits me. A new day. Or a new night, I guess you could say. Nope, I thought that that bee had two hits on it, so I used enough time of pressing F for two attacks. No, no, attack bees. Ooh. Dios mio. I only have three uses of this thing left. So I have enough to kill, like, one bee. I guess I'll use it to kill the spider. Hope for another gland. I've been getting lucky with those things. Nope, meat. It's just some meat. So, uh, what do I have that works as a weapon? Shovel is probably the closest thing. I'll just swack and whack him with the cane. Yeah, that does nowhere near enough damage. Oh, hey. Oh, god. The bees are swarming. The real enemy is not terrorists or Muslims. It is the bees. Oh, god, my mind is almost out of fuel. Let's escape and grab some more fuel for it. At least fuel for this thing is easy to come by. A bit more silk and I'll be able to craft another. 90%. That's good. I need a rock. At least I have enough... Like, I have a weapon so I can stun lock these things. Spiders are stun lockable by pretty much anything in this whole game. Oh god, another spider spawned. I mean, I knew that another spider would come out, but... You know, I killed one. I expected there to not be two in the thing. Hey, there's a rock. I can get some flint. Make an axe. Make another bug net. I need rope. I'll just quickly craft that. 
Science Survival Net. Catch this. Add fuel. Okay, perfect. We are starting to recover from the bees. Flint. Axe. Or do I want a spear? You know what, I'll make a spear. I need some sort of weapon. So let us continue to burn- oh, there's, there was, there's two flint here. I'm an idiot. Why do I have boards? I don't need those. There's an axe here as well. This is the same axe that I dropped ages ago. It, it seems bad, but it's really that not- it's not really that bad anymore. I mean, sure, I got annihilated by bees before, but we've made a good recovery. Actually, I should keep my sanity low, because I need to go buy the thing. There's another bee. The bees. Oh, I forgot I was making an axe for a reason. Oh, wait, no, I have a spear. I forgot. That's what I was doing. Using the spear as a weapon, not the axe. Spear is much more effective, but not against a million bees. Spiders, can you come out and play? Spiders, come out to play. There we go. Yeah, kill him. Kick his ass. I honestly don't care who wins, as long as they deal some damage to each other. Rain, really? That is exactly what I don't need. Well, maybe it is what I need. It does decrease sanity. And again, I'm pretty sure I don't need something to decrease my sanity further than it already is. Wait, these are normal bees. Why am I killing those? Yeah, I should probably just sneak past these bees. There's too many. Many bees. Just like that guy, many faces. Oh wow, I've annihilated most of them. This is a good thing. Okay. How close am I to the next beehive? C control, light. Can I light your fire? Haha, <laughs> stupid bees. Stupid Spartan for lighting the whole forest on fire. We're all stupid now. Time to return to how we normally were. Let's spawn some spiders. And the spiders will all gank the tentacle over there. Or they'll get dank ganked by the tentacle. Either way works fine. So I'll either get healing or I'll get another tentacle spike. If it wasn't so dark here. The spiders win? It seems that they did. Oh well, it's only a bit of healing. I need to find out where the tentacle is. Spider, over here. I don't know if those spiders were close enough. Oh, yep, they're close enough. Just spawn more spiders. I don't think these spiders will go away until they've finished dealing with it. There's Weber's skull again. I need to see. Let's light this on fire. It seems the merms have been fighting. Is that a tentacle spike I see over there? No, it's not. Okay. Oh crap, I'm insane. Oh, that's a tentacle spike. Jackpot. It's mine now. No one else's. And away I go. Oh wait, I'm not that insane. Does this reduce sanity? 
No, it doesn't. That was terrible. I should get some more food. Let's just pick up all the honey that dropped around here. I need to be quick, though. All the bees have died from the fire. No, do not pick up the stingers. Do not need those. Those are pretty much... No, not pretty much. They're literally useless. There's only one thing you can craft with them, and it's a garbage tier item. There we go. Ten honey. It's 90 hunger. And, like, 30 health. Almost insane enough to go to the thing. I'll need a bit of sanity loss, but then again, that shouldn't be hard to get. I mean, it's pure night time. Pure night time. It's just pure night. It's the darkest night. It's Halzeal the Ascended. Signal is very faint. You know what else is very faint? My hope. Except it isn't really. I recovered from having like four health. I'm pretty. Sh I'm pretty actually ecstatic. The fact that I managed to survive that. I need a drink. My throat is getting sore. All I have in the house is Pepsi, Solo, some other stuff. I need more strawberry milk. I need to get more of that. Okay, let's get more of these fireflies. Never run out of fuel. If you run out of fuel, you lose the challenge. That's a crazy looking rock. Let's boost the sanity loss rate. As long as I don't stay in the dark for too long, Charlie won't attack me. What was that? It was Charlie, the darkness monster. Almost insane. There we go. Let's go. Time's up. Let's do this. Now I just need to hope and pray that this isn't the wooden thing. If this is the wooden thing, then I'll just have to come back here. If it is... I mean, if it isn't the wooden thing, that'll be great, because I can just pick it up and go to the last thing, because I know where that is. Because there was a land branch. This is a terrible spot to spawn from a touchstone. So I'm going to have to walk by these spiders. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is not the wooden thing, because if it was the wooden thing, there would be... Oh, wait. It is the wooden thing. Uh, clockwork bishops. I know what. Spawn a whole bunch of spiders for them to attack the clockwork things. The perfect crime. So I'll just come back here later. I mean... This land branch over here, where, where is it? Over here, exists for a reason. And the reason would probably be, uh, that it has usefulness. It has an item on it. I mean, I could, like, put all my pieces back in the wooden thing first. Yeah, you know what? That would actually be the smart thing to do. <laughs> Was that a darkness creature there? Or am I seeing things? Or am I not seeing things? That is the quest, John. There's a trap down there. It's just a stupid trap. These spiders are doing God's work. Or my work, I guess. Am I God? Probably not. Yeah, go ahead. Attack the... Th attack the things. Have I ever mentioned how much I really do not hate spiders in this game? As long as this spider warrior leaves me alone, I'll be fine. Hang on, there's a trap down here as well. Nope, spider warrior's just leaving. Will they still trudge around? I think they will. Why are there two traps around here? It's very coincidental that they both spawn so close to each other. Okay, let's kill these spiders. Actually, do I have to kill them? Yeah, I guess so. Oh god, that's a terror beak. <laughs> Die, you stupid thing. Terror beak is the stronger of the two shadow monsters. It also gives more sanity when you kill it, so that's a, go a good thing, I guess. 
has 300 health, the same as the other one, just does a lot more damage. And... Oh, I thought it had 300 health. I guess it has 400 health. There we go. Say it again. Give. 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 Should I spelunk this area? I kind of need to be sane again to go past the thing. I'll be fine. You'll probably be fine. I like how, like, sarcastic the, uh, the guy from SCP Containment Breach used to be until they, you know, changed him and made him a bit more serious. Just, uh, do this and this and you'll probably be fine. I swear these things gave a little ins insanity aura, but I guess they changed that. Okay, let's unequip the miner's hat. What's the insanity threshold for Wilson? It's 30. I asked and then immediately got the answer. That is beneficial to me. There we go. Pretty healthy now. If you consider mental health to be a non-issue. I should just increase my sanity so that I don't get ganked by shadow monsters on my way around. There we go. 100% fuel. Excellent. I should be fine here. Oh, uh, now just the long trek back. The Star Trek. Dun 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 Except that's Star Wars, not Star Trek. What was Star Trek's theme? I, I remember, but, you know, I don't want to be making useless sounds all the time because, you know, I have to save that for Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I really wish Crimson Court would come out soon. Are those spiders really killing those bees? I mean, I'd rather the bees not get aggroed, because they're just gonna start coming for me because I burned their houses down. These bees will attack anything. Idiots. Don't you know that the best way to win in Don't Starve is to just not attack anything and have your, like, everything else attack for you? That's what I do. Literally, every opportunity I've had, I'll just have something else kill my enemies. Land bridge is always useful for finding items. Signal is very faint. It's around here somewhere, I just know it. Because these bridges don't exist for no reason. Or maybe they do. I could swear that there would be some use of this. Shoutouts to this walking cane too. Without it, I probably wouldn't have been able to deal with the bees at the speed that I'm doing right now. Okay, is this really, like, nothing over here? Land bridges are supposed to be useful. What am I missing, anyway? I'm missing the box thing. I think I'm missing- yeah, I'm missing the box thing because I haven't found a spear in the random wild. If I would have found the box thing, I would have picked up the spear because the spear is useful. But sadly, no spear. Okay, come on, is there really nothing here? Well, this is an utter waste of time. You know what, where did I spawn? I spawned down here. You know what, there's probably an item down there at the bottom left that I didn't explore because I went up and right first. That's probably what's gonna happen here. You know what, I'm gonna pause and get a drink. I'll be right back. Pepsi does not reinvigorate the throat like Solo does, but it helps a bit. It gives you extra energy to spout about random gibberish. Which, in my profession, is very useful. Hey look, a grass suit. I'm very confused how the difference between grass and logs is, like, so very minimum. It's only a 20% protection difference. Granted, it's the difference between 60% and 80%, which is pretty huge, but... Still, that's not very much when you think about it. 
I mean, it's a fifth of the damage you take. But, you know, that's just how useful armor is in this game, which is why I don't like the backpack. Because if you use the backpack, you can't use armor. And, if, you know, you can't carry the backpack in your inventory while you're using the armor either. So, yeah, you're kind of screwed. Which I guess is why I main Wickford, because Wickford gets the Battle Helm, which is... It's effectively a log suit that you wear on your head. So, you can fight and have a backpack at the same time, which is incredible. I wish there was something in this game that would be like... Half armor, half other thing. Okay, I'm heading in the right direction, so is there like something down the bottom left? Or something up the top right? I shall check both. Actually, I won't check up the top right. There can't be anything there. Okay. Yep, this is what I was missing. Heading in the right direction. That's good. Only one more piece and we win, boys. It's dat boys. Oh shit, a dead meme. I'm, I'm not a meme connoisseur, but that one is pretty terrible. Like, back in April, I think it was... Was it April? No, it was, uh... May. It was in May. May the 4th, to be precise. Because that's Nikki's birthday. That we were having a little celebration get-together with the guys and girls from high school. For Nikki's birthday. And, uh... One of my friends, Matt, you know... Good friend of mine, you can uh, find a link to his YouTube channel in a... Uh, like, on my channel's front page, because he does skits. I guess you could watch them, but, you know. He took down his best one, because it showed his house and something like that. I don't know. Don't ask me, ask him. Although, he probably still won't put it up again. The thing is, um... Yeah, he... Me and Rob were talking about memes, and Rob is like... He's like me, except he is a, you know, he speaks faster and is a big comic book fan. Kind of like Nicky. But, yeah, we were talking about memes, and we were talking about, like, the best ones. And Matt just joins in, like, oh, he, he said his favorite meme is Dad Boy. And we were both like, really, Matt? That's, like, the worst one. And he's like, ah, uh, you guys don't have taste. Rob is someone, if I got Rob over, I mean, I haven't... Like, I don't directly speak to Rob, he's like a friend of a friend, even though we all went to high school together. And me and Rob can hold a really good conversation about, you know, usually video games, but... I just don't know Rob very well myself. But yeah, I, I could attempt to get Rob. Like, like, if me and Rob did a cooperative Let's Play or something like that, it would be great, but... You know, I don't know how available he is. I hear Rob is very busy. Not as busy as Bryce is, but fairly busy. So my stats are almost full, except for my sanity, which is literally zero. And, uh, yeah, we've almost won this challenge. Can I finish this in this episode? I've been recording for 34 minutes. You know what? Long final episode. Because why not? I mean, I have a... I, uh... Walking cane. What's with this artifacting on the map here? It's a bit weird. Then again, that's just how the display works. I'll grab a few more of these things. Just in case. Even though, like, I know there's literally nothing that could go wrong. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Ambushed by spiders. That's it. And I'll just walk around the spider's nest. Or in... Oh, I just... Did I just trigger three of them at once? Yep, I did. Oh, well. They'll just give up chasing me eventually. Just head up and right, and you win, Spartan. You have won. You have beaten Adventure Mode, and you've unlocked, like, five characters in the process. Unlock Divining Rod. And take this with me. Take, uh... What else do I need? Like, literally nothing. I mean, all that's left is the epilogue. You know what, a light of fire. For no real reason other than the fact that I want to guarantee that I keep the, uh... Minor helmet with me. And there's a reason I'm gonna keep the minor helmet with me. Just, uh... 
take the torch, I guess. No, use the thing. Wilson. Travel. Finally. Use the thing. I wish I killed those spies before I left. There we go. So I unlocked... Throughout this adventure, I've locked... Well, I just unlocked Maxwell. Unlocked Wes. Unlocked Willow. Unlocked Wolfgang. Unlocked... Wendy. So, yep, five characters unlocked. Epilogue. Checkmate. And your sanity is increased. Why is your sanity increased? Because reasons. This is the epilogue. Now, you may have not seen many people who have let's played this game go across these paths to the left and right. These do lead to places. They lead to Maxwell's living quarters. This is Maxwell's supply hoard for, like, apparently Maxwell's like a person who was trapped before you. But, yeah. That's his supply stuff. Uh, this is... More supplies, I guess. You can tell because it's got the checkered ground. And yes, I will be exploring through here. I should have bought some food or something like that. Or something to increase my sanity. But I have nothing. There's music playing. This is, uh, nothing. Oh yeah, there's no map here, by the way, so... Map is useless. Stole these bunch of marble things. I swear Maxwell had more stuff here than just that. I think I have to go a bit closer. So yeah, this is complete night as well. Oh yeah, here's where it splits off. So this is Maxwell's treasure. You get fireflies for your minor hat, I guess. Not very useful stuff. More supplies. Magic material, but I don't have any magic. And there's a bunch of rot, so you can only speculate that this was just food before. This is Maxwell's actual farm. It contains some berries. That's pretty much it. I swear he had like a fridge somewhere here. Maybe that was to the left over here. I'm pretty much at no threat of losing and going insane because I need to have lost like 20 more sanity. Anything else here? No? Okay. This is the area of the game that you like never explore, so I'm just exploring it now because last time I came here was like years ago. Literally back in high school. Oh yeah, there's more stuff over here. Yeah, this is his eatery area. It's meat. All of the meat. You know what, I'll cook some food in the crock pot just to get some sanity while I explore this place. I swear you could find Chester around here somewhere, but I guess not. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought that was a path there. I guess it's not. Let's check it flooring. Hang on, this leads somewhere. No, oh, it just loops around, okay. So yep, yeah, I've got some meaty stew here for really no reason. I could have cooked this in adventure mode, probably. Just needed a crock pot. Here's his research things. The shadow manipulator. I'm surprised he does not have a press to habitator, because you need that in order to craft the shadow thing. Shadow manipulator. And camera perspective force turn. Is this how it ends? You unequip this. Forgive me if I don't wake up. You've been an interesting plaything, but I've grown tired of you. Or maybe they've grown tired of me. Heh. <laughs> Took them long enough. They'll show you terrible, beautiful things. It will change you, like it did me. It's best not to fight it. There wasn't much here when I showed up. Just dust, and the void, and them. I've learned so much since then. I've built so much. But even a king is bound to the board. You can't change the rules of the game. I don't know what they want, they... They just watch. Unless you get too close, then... Well, there's a reason I stay so dapper. What year is it up there? Time moves differently here. Go on, stay a while. Keep us company. Or put the key in the box. It's your decision. Either way, you're just delaying the inevitable. Reality is like that sometimes. I think I've said enough. And then he just says nothing. 
Thank you. I've been listening to that song for an eternity. Before I leave, there's a few things that you can do here. If you go up and to the left repeatedly, or was it up and to the right? I forget. I'll search both. I swear there was some secret stuff around here. Yeah. The eye bone is here. This is a special grave area. These are the credits. Aaron Boothiller, JC Cheng, Sloth Trackendurk, Joe Resselberg, Graham, blah 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 blah. Matt. Matt. M <laughs> Matt Martinson. It's the stupidest name I've ever heard. So yeah, there's Chester. He's with me. Chester to the end. It's a shame I didn't find him in Chapter 5, but he probably would have been killed by bees. So if we keep going this way, and just fight the stupid camera perspective change, then there's something else around here. Wait, is it up here? It's somewhere around here. I know what's going on. Let's just eat this to get five sanity. Yeah, it's up here. Is it up here? I wish I knew where I was. This... I need a map. This is why the map in this game is so important. That's why I check it, like, constantly. I'm trying to zoom out to see where this thing is, but I don't know. I'm kind of lost. You know what, let's go back to Maxwell. Hopefully I can use the camera's perspective there to find where I'm going. If I can find him at all. Where am I? Did I go all the way back to the start? I'm lost. Okay, yeah. So let's go up and right here. I'm fairly certain that this is the way we need to go. I'm probably going around in circles with over here or something. But this is the way, is it? No. Oh, well. I'm trying to show off something, but I guess I just can't. Unless it's just, like, literally just down, and I was going up for... because I thought it was the way. Is this the way? No, I don't know. Okay. Uh, the thing that I was trying to show off here is that there is the wooden thing around here somewhere as well. Or was that literally just behind Maxwell? If you go upwards. I don't know. The thing is, if you go and use the wooden thing, then it um, teleports you back here and Maxwell says that he's already tried it. Also, easter egg. Don't bother attacking him, it'll destroy your weapon, damage you and stuff. So yep, this is the end. The key looks like it will fit. You can free Waxwell, but I doubt his captors will be, pl captors will be pleased. Yes. Shadow creature, stop it. I'm pretty sure I can't die in this cutscene. <laughs> so Maxwell dies. And you take his place on the throne. I hope I didn't like... Really. I died in the outro cutscene. And that caused me to fail adventure mode. Oh well, I still won. I'll just cheat my way back there, because I have technically already won. If I didn't die from insanity and being killed by a shadow creature, I would have won. And you know it. So yeah, this is the end of Don't Starve. Really long final episode at, like, 45 minutes. I'll see you guys in the next project. I don't know what that'll be, though. I'll see you guys, uh, yeah, then. Bye.